All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, please share the video link with your friends. As usual, we are uh, doing our broadcast not in our normal time, but God is good, and we like always to help people and to give them the answers they are looking for. Uh, uh, a Muslim uh, lady, she asked me not to mention her name, and she said that Muhammad, he have miracles, and why we don't believe in his miracles. So I asked her to give me example and they gave me she gave me this story now she let the link she gave me it was just uh, like you know an article uh, but for me I find the hadith uh, uh, located in a Muslim website uh, which is official Muslim website is better to read it from so we will read the same exactly what she gave me and we will talk about the healing of Allah and his messenger Muhammad you know, when we speak about healing, <clears throat> um, we are not speaking about medicine. Uh, this is a religious meaning here. We are not talking about a guy who uh, went to the doctor and the doctor gave him some medicine and he took uh, some bills, uh, did it, uh, let us say, a scan for him. They found that he have a tumor and they start doing a process. This is not what we are talking about. The healing we are talking about is what it's called a miracle, which is uh, power of God healing somebody without giving him a medicine. Uh, so when the Muslim they say to us that Muhammad he have a power of healing, and Allah he gave him such a thing, I find that very astonishing and weird to believe. And we will show you the reason. Please invite your friends and let us together read what this lady, by the way, uh, if she is going to listen to this video, I don't know if she is listening now, now or not. I have nothing against you. You know, I'm here just to answer you. You gave me something. So you ask the question, you better listen to the answer. Uh, <clears throat> this is the hadith she gave me. I was waiting with the Prophet when a Bedouin came to him and he said, I have a brother who is sick. He said, what is matter with your brother? He said, he suffer from slight mental uh, dragment. He said, go and bring him. So who is the one who said, go and bring him? Muhammad. Go and bring him. Okay. So the guy, he went. And he brought his brother to Muhammad. What the Prophet of Islam he did exactly. He said, Go and bring him. The guy he went and he brought him down, and he sat down in front of him, which means in front of Muhammad. And I heard him seeking refuge with him. With uh, you know the, the opening of the book, which means reading some verses from uh, the Quran. Four verses from Al-Baqarah. Al-Baqarah is a chapter called Al-Baqarah, the cow. Two verses from it is middle. And your ilah is one ilah. Your God is one God. And then he read from the chapter and the chapter of Al-Kursi. Three verses from its end. And then he read from uh, 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 a verse from Al Umran, which means chapter number three. And I think it was the guy saying, reporter, Allah bears witness that La ilaha illallah huwa. None has the right, right to be worshipped but uh, uh, He. This is the Muslim translation, not mine. Chapter three, verse number 18. A verse from Al Araf, chapter of Al Araf. Indeed, your Lord is Allah chapter 7 verse number 54 a verse from al mu'minun and whatever who or whoever invoke or worship beside Allah and any other ilah which means other god uh, of whom he has no proof chapter 23 verse number 7, 117 
All right. Let us continue. And then he read, he did read a verse from uh, the chapter of Al Jinn. And he exalted is the majesty is uh, of our Lord. Chapter 73, verse number three. Ten verses from the beginning of As Safat. Now, this is another chapter. Ten verses from As Safat. Three verses from the end of Al Hashr. This is a different chapter. Three verses from there. Then say Allah, He is Allah, the one. Chapter 112, verse number one. Uh, so, you know, to make it simple, and then after uh, reading all those things, the hadith says, Then the Bedouin stood up, healed, and there was nothing wrong with him. <laughs> let us go back slowly let us go back slowly what kind of recipe this recipe is are we making salad I was waiting with the prophet and a Bedouin man he told him that my brother he have a mental issue they brought the guy to him as the prophet he ordered and then he would read he start reading two verses from the, from the chapter of Al-Baqarah Two verses from Al Baqarah. From the middle of it. Then he did read from the chapter of Al Kursi, the chair. Three verses from there, from its end. And then a verse, one verse from Al Umran. It sounds like somebody is making a, a cooking on, a, on YouTube. And then he read uh, uh, from the chapter of Al Araf, one verse. Indeed, your Allah is what is Allah. I mean, what well, this is stupid. And then he did read from Al Mu'minun. And then he did read from uh, 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 chapter of Al Jinn, chapter of Al Araf, <coughs> chapter of uh, 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 As Safat. I mean, here seven verses, here three verses, here one verse, here what, what is that? Is that a cocktail? All of this to heal the guy. I mean, if Allah is God, if Allah is God, what does have to do with healing the man? So now if we take those verses, because obviously here Muhammad is not healing anyone. He is just reading verses. And where Muhammad, he got this recipe that Allah told him, if you do this, like you read this verse and that verse and one verse from here and two verses from there. I mean, how the power work? It sound like a recipe somebody making salad <clears throat> so I don't see the year and uh, guys <clears throat> uh, sorry my my uh, my throat the guy is not doing anything so how the Muslims know that he was healed look read the story with me carefully and love they brought the guy they sit in, in front of him he is not jumping he is not doing anything he is he, he, he said he said then he stand up. So how you know he was healed and nothing wrong with him? <laughs> what, what is that? This is healing. If we go and compare between what Jesus do and what this is story you Muslims making up, even by the way, even the Muslim themselves, they put there in the grade of the hadith as da'if. But because they are desperate looking for Muhammad, that he made a miracle. So they, they, suddenly the da'if is accepted by them. Anyway, for da'if, for me, uh, the da'if is accepted, yeah. Which means it's a, it's an authentic at the end of the day. But the guy, he did nothing when he was in the front of the prophet. And when he stood up, how we know now that he is recovered? I mean, where is, uh, how you know? That's it. He wrote those things and the guy recovered. Why? What happened? How you know? If we go in the Bible, we will see people just touching the clothing of Jesus. Touching what? The clothing of Jesus and they were recovered. Jesus walking in the water. This is not, nothing to do with healing. This is with the power of Jesus. King on the sea. 
And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit, and they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand, and caught him, and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came, and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth thou art the Son of God. And when they were gone over, they came into the land of Gennesaret. And when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all that country round about, and brought unto him all that were diseased, and besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment, and as many as touched were made perfectly whole. <laughs> That's amazing. You see, let us see what happened between Muhammad and between Jesus. Jesus walking in the water. And then the Muslim, by the way, they say to you, where, where, where Jesus said, I'm God. They are worshiping him all over the Bible. Don't you see? Did Jesus say, why you are worshiping me? Worship him. And here, people, there are hundreds, thousands of people are coming from everywhere in the country. What they are doing? They are just touching his clothes and they are healed. Who is this Jesus then? And who is this Muhammad who is going to make a recipe of cocktail reading verses for you and supposedly that will heal you? Now let us let us get Muhammad busted with the healing. Guys, what is the disease here? What is the problem? In this hadith, what is the disease Muhammad trying to recover that man from? Anybody can help me? What is the disease? It's a mental illness, correct? This is what the hadith says. Well, isn't it Muhammad himself is suffering from mental illness? How Muhammad he can heal somebody suffering from mental illness when he is the one who suffered from mental illness and we can prove it easy If we go in the hadith, we will find that Muhammad Suffering from mental illness badly Muhammad as an example he hears rocks speaking to him rocks saying to him assalamu alaikum The mountain speak to him says to him assalamu alaikum trees move around him It's very clear of a mental illness However, here there's something even more important to use as a proof. The Prophet, he imagined himself having sex. In fact, he is not. And the Muslims, as in the old days, people, when somebody is sick, they think he is under magic. When he has something wrong with his mind, they think he is under black magic. But the fact there is no such a thing. It's called black magic. The prophet continued for such and such a time, imagining that he has slept, slept with his wife, but in fact he did not. Then they continue saying, what, the, what happened? The prophet, he said that there is two angels came to him, and they said, oh, he is under the effect of a magic. This is a clear sign of mental illness. The man, he cannot recognize between what is real and what is wrong. Right. Obviously, Muhammad he cannot recognize what is right, what is wrong. To the point he is imagining himself having sex, but in fact he did not. So how Muhammad can be a person who wanna heal somebody from mental illness when he is the one who is suffering from mental illness? Wasn't Muhammad reading the Quran? When Muhammad read these verses for for this guy, did he heal himself too? Muhammad, Muhammad himself, he died from poison. Why he did not heal himself? Read with me. Sahih al-Bukhari. The Prophet said in his element of death, which in which he died, used to say, Oh, Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by food. I ate at Khaybar, and at this time I feel 
as if it or if my orta is being cut off from that poison so why the prophet did not read two verses from here three verses from there seven verses from there verse from the end verse from the beginning seven uh, seven eleven verses and hear himself in the story of jesus and by the way the muslims agree that jesus he healed people and the quran confirmed that the quran confirmed that jesus he can even resurrect people from death how muhammad cannot heal himself When a man he came to Muhammad and he said to him that his brother is sick His brother he have a brother and this brother is, is sick So what Muhammad did a man came to the Prophet and said oh Prophet my brother has some abominable uh, 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 Trouble the Prophet said to him let him drink honey Okay the man came for the second time to Dr. Muhammad and said to the prophet you know i mean this guy is not uh, it's not working with him so he said to the prophet he said to him let him drink honey he came for the third time the man he's coming again third time the prophet said again and again let him drink honey then he returned again which means this is the fourth time number four take a note this is what this is number four number for the guy is coming to the clinic of Muhammad dr. Muhammad and he said to him hey, when I done that hello it's not working I have done that the Prophet then said to the man Allah has said the truth and you're a prophet stomach is lying <laughs> Prophet of healing Allah told the truth and look guys the hadith says so he made him drink honey and he was cured this is the Muslim side of the story obviously the man he never come back because Muhammad he gets so upset almost he want to kill him he told him your your brother is a, his stomach is lying and Allah told the truth because if you come again obviously you are accusing me that I'm a false prophet so the guy never come back Where is the power of healing for Muhammad or, or, or Umar? And you know, what kind of doctor does doctor he say to the guy, drink honey, don't you should ask him first what the problem? If somebody have a pain in his stomach, you say to him, drink honey right away? What if he have diabetes? Huh? Obviously, this guy is dying more because obviously there's something wrong. Drink honey, drink honey. The guy, he come after a few days, drink honey. The guy is dying. And now the Muslim at the end they said so he made him drink honey and he was cured how we know he was cured that he never come back you notice here the guy never come back after that after what after Muhammad he accused him accuse his brother Billy is telling a lie have you ever heard of a doctor he told his patient your Billy is lying Imagine, imagine Jesus, somebody asked him to heal him, and Jesus, he said to him, okay, you are healed. And then the guy, he says, but nothing, I cannot walk. Jesus, make me walk. So Jesus told him, walk. The guy, he said, well, I cannot walk. And then Jesus said to him, I told you, walk, man, walk. The, the, I'm just, like, I'm not saying Jesus, this has happened. I'm, imagine, if we compare between this, which happened to Muhammad, and let us say, that this has happened to Jesus. Obviously, this Jesus is not a true Jesus. Is not a true Messiah, because if the guy he cannot walk, that's it. It's mean he cannot walk. What uh, is is the G -G or this Isa will say to him? Oh, your legs is lying. So Muslims, you fabricate stories about your prophet to make him Doctor Muhammad. He is an idiot. He accused his patient who is coming asking for help thinking that and look here guys when Muhammad he says Allah told the truth Muhammad he claimed that his medicine is coming from Allah This is not his recipe. You know what I mean? Why Muhammad saying Allah has said the truth? What does that mean what does this have to do with Allah? So Muhammad he claimed that he have knowledge coming from Allah and Allah he told him that you should give this man honey so how this Billy is lying 
And why Muhammad, his God did not give him a knowledge about how to fight the poison which caused him to die. And here I don't want to forget to mention why Allah don't want to save Muhammad from dying but like a rat by poison, but yet he saved Jesus from the cross. The Muslim, they say to us, Allah, there is no way Allah will let his prophet to be humiliated in the cross. Well, your prophet, he died like a rat. Why Allah did not save him? Uh, we have a Muslim in the text. He's asking somebody to sell to send a picture of her legs Let me show you as long as you mention this as, as long as you are a rude person and you are a Muslim Let me show you that your prophet he proved himself that he is a prophet based on the legs of his wife Khadija Guys this guy he is the one who said this so I have to answer him, right? He's trying to insult a lady He's being a Muslim and I'm not going to block you or you know you, you, you just be rude. No problem. Here we go This guy he said angel Habibi Please send a picture of your legs. Okay, let me show you the, the picture of legs, what they did. First of all, pictures of legs is in Islam. Your prophet, he said, in the heaven, there's a market. There's no buying or selling except pictures of men and women. And whoever like the picture, he entered and have sex with it. However, if we go right now and search for what Khadija did to prove Muhammad to be a prophet, you will see that Khadija, she was accomplished that or able to accomplish that by her legs. And we don't say things like you to insult. We say things with the proven reference. Uh, let us find it. <clears throat> All right. Read with me, Abdul. This is your official Islamic website, as Sira Nabawiya Ibn Hisham. That's what? Sira Nabawiya Ibn Hisham. Volume number one, page number two three nine. This is not me saying that. This is you, Muslim. This is your Muslim website. This is your Muslim book. It says here that the Prophet told Khadija that he is seeing someone in his room. He sees someone, someone sitting in the corner there, there. So Khadija, she said to him, When you see him next time, tell me, Prophet, tell me, please. So the guy he came, which is Jibreel. فجاءه جبريل عليه السلام كما كان يصنع فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لخديجة he said so the prophet he said when when he saw جبريل in the corner of his room he said hey خديجة I see him now I see him he's there but خديجة cannot see him you see خديجة she is trying to help him to know if this is a shaitan or this is an angel he is not sure yet this is shaitan this is an angel who is this guy sitting in the corner and this is additional proof that Muhammad have a mental issue this guy he sees somebody sitting in the corner of his room. Now, if this is an angel, why he is sitting, don't talk, what, what, what he's doing there? <laughs> and look how Khadija, she proved to him that this is an angel. So Khadija, she said, قالت, Stand up, my cousin. They call the, the, the husband cousin. And sit in the top of my left thigh. The prophet, he stood up and he sat in the top of her leg. The left one, she said to him, do you see him? He said, Naam, yes. She said, okay, move now to my right thigh, to the right leg. So he moved and sat in the top of her right leg. And then she said to him, Haltara, do you see him? He said, yes. She said, all right, now move and sit in the top of me, in her lap what and then the prophet he sat in her lap and she said to him okay do you see him which means do you still see him he said yes now she said she did this she took off she started taking off her clothes and then she said to him do you see him he said no he said the glory to allah my cousin, I swear by Allah, he is an angel and he is not a shaitan. <laughs> now, do you still want the pictures of the legs, Mr. Hilal? Abdul, do you still want the pictures of legs? Should I send you pictures of the legs of Khadija? All your religion is proven by the legs of Khadija. This is how the Prophet, he was able to discover 
that this is an angel, not a shaitan, by doing striptease? This is your religion. So don't talk about sending me, send me pictures of your legs. This is your religion. And I'm not surprised that you are savage, but this is how stupid you Muslims are. This is your religion. It's about legs. Allah himself, he could not prove to Muhammad that this is an angel. Why the angel don't talk? I mean, why in the world the angel sit like a monkey in the room, in the corner of the room? What he's doing there? A guy with his room, with his wife in the bedroom. If you ask the Muslims why the why the angel he left, how Khadija she was able to to know that this is an angel? They said, "Oh, because now when she took off her clothes, obviously they want to have sex. So the angel of Allah is shy to watch a man and the women having sex. What the heck? Well, you Muslims will have sex all day, twenty four hours in the heaven of Allah, and it's full of angels, and you will be naked all day long." <laughs> <laughs> so Muhammad obviously here additional proof that Muhammad is suffering from mental illness and his wife is more crazy than him how Khadija she discover that this is an angel by doing striptease and why Khadija she don't take off her clothes from the, from the end I mean why you what is the why she said to him sit in the top of my right leg and they move to the left leg I mean why you don't say from the beginning okay let me take off my clothes if he leave that means he's, he's an angel you, you know what I mean Guys, are you listening? If he leave, that's mean he is an angel. <laughs> Why you need to do to tell him like, and what kind of a prophet even accept to do this? Why Muhammad did not say to her, "Are you stupid or what?" What do you mean sit in top of your leg? What are you talking about? <laughs> Muhammad is doing it like as if he's a kid. He don't mind. Muhammad, he moved the left leg. He moved to the right leg. He have no problem with this. Obviously, Muhammad. He have a mental issue and his wife she is more crazy than him any muslims are more crazy than both of them to believe that this guy is a prophet after all of this however my friends the muslims i advise you to drink honey after watching my video you need a lot of honey and that explain why the prophet as long we are talking about healing I, 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 there's something I forgot. I mean, how I forgot this. How I forgot this. The only prophet who ordered people to drink camel urine. This is a clear sign that Muhammad is not suffering from any mental illness, additional to all what we say. He is the best doctor ever. And we have to agree. And the, the funny, the Muslims, they have tons of articles about the benefit of urine. They will say to you in Japan, do you know that they take a shower with, with the urine? Abdul, there's a huge difference between drinking urine and taking a shower with urine. If somebody's stupid when I take a shower with urine, I'm not going to do that. And maybe that has some benefit, but obviously it's disgusting. This is number one. Number two, what is the guarantee that this urine is not infected with a lot of bacteria? Instead of you are healed from something, you get diseased. And drinking urine would destroy your liver. It's an acid. It's simply an acid. This is why it's a urine. Actually, United Nations, they, 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 they made a warning for all the global warning that nobody should drink amyl urine. It is unhealthy. You can search for it right now in Google. Many people die because of it. However, I would like Shabir Ali in the Kamin TV show or Zakir Naik when he go on TV instead of having Pepsi Cola next to him or a cup of water to have a cup of camel urine. I want to see that. Why Muslims don't practice? Why you Muslims buy Pepsi Cola? Why we don't have in the grocery store of every Muslim country camel urine cola? Obviously, none of you want to believe in that and nobody want to do that. Otherwise, why you are drinking the American kuffar infidel drink? Huh? Why you don't have a cup of camel urine with every meal you eat? It's a medicine. Anyway, may, uh, may, uh, may Allah provide us with more legs like the legs of Khadija because obviously the legs of Khadija, they are very blessed. And through the legs of Khadija, we were able to discover that the prophet is a true prophet of God. Muhammad is a person who have amazing power of healing. Very amazing. And it's very funny. The way he tried to heal this person from mental illness. And the funny here, it says slight mental illness. A slight? What does that mean? 
obviously the one who have mental illness is you Muslims believe in this garbage that a guy you read two verses okay guys who of you ha have a mental illness okay let me open the book of John I will read for you verse from there and then I will go verse two verses from uh, uh, chapter 14 uh, uh, Matthew and then I will read five verses from the book of Luke uh, 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 chapter uh, 2 and then I will read the last verse I mean what, what is that what kind of recipe this recipe is while Jesus People touch his garment and they they get healed by thousands. They did not even ask him to heal. They did not say heal us just because he have the power. His clothes, his clothes is full of his energy. They touch his garment and they are healed. And I don't want to forget to mention something important. The Quran says it clearly, and that will get the Muslims busted more and more about all the lies they say that Muhammad had miracles. The Quran says it clearly in chapter 17, verse number 59. Nothing made us to refrain from sending miracles except that the former generation don't believe in them. So Allah in the Quran confirmed that he refrained from sending miracles to Muhammad. Refrain, do you know what refrain mean? Which mean if this is story is about Muhammad healing somebody, it's mean the Quran is a book of lies. For this is a contradiction for what Allah said. Allah He said in the Quran, supposedly a refrain. You know what I mean? It's a joke. Uh, I don't know why each time I do I go live in Google, I'm getting disconnected somehow. Let us see. Am I heard, guys? I hope you did not lose me. I'm not sure what is the reason for this. My internet is really uh, very fast. Uh, anyway, so so uh, and the Quran is full, full of verses saying that Muhammad have no miracles. I can show you tons of verses, not only one. Why you Muslims believe in such a garbage, guys? I don't know. I sometimes I feel somebody in the corner of my room. And I think I'm a prophet, but I have a problem. I need to find a wife so she would do strap these with me So I can be sure if he is a prophet or not. If there is any lady she would like to marry me I want to be a prophet and I see someone in the corner of my room Have you ever heard of such a stupid story like this a prophet? He's someone in see someone in the room doing what 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 Jabril doing in the corner of the room drinking Pepsi Cola an angel came into the house of the prophet. He don't talk, and he sit in the corner of the room. Why? What is? Hey, Jibril, what are you doing there? Jibril, what are you doing there? A brother said up. Once I was sitting in the corner of the room, and the prophet he noticed me. Every day I come and sit in the corner of his room, and the prophet he look at me, and I look at the prophet, and we don't talk. So the prophet was confused. He didn't know me. I did not show him my ID, and I look ugly. So the prophet he asked the, the, the beautiful wife Khadida to help him, and because Khadida he have a PhD in discovering angel, he decided to find out if this is an angel or not by doing strapti. Thank you very much. And that's amazing. Who is here the one who have mental illness? Now, guys, how many of you is going to download my video? And share it around who wanna who is going to be honest be honest honest to God if you don't download my videos and share it around I'm going to call Jibril and he will appear in the corner of your room and imagine you are a single person like me 
and you don't have a wife to do what she did to Muhammad how you can get rid of him because he would never leave if Khadija did not take off her clothes and ask the Prophet to sit in the top of her the angel is stuck there I mean what are you doing here angel don't you have something to do this angel have nothing to do he is sitting in the corner go do some grocery do buy some food for the prophet uh, go and teach him some wisdom teach him karaoke what's wrong with karaoke huh kung fu an angel sitting in the corner for what islam is a fantastic religion we have to admit it's not stupid it's crazy if you like to learn more about this crazy religion, go and get my books from Amazon.com. Search for Christian Prince, and you will find a list of books in many languages. And soon we will have my book, or my coming book, Allah and Sex, is going to be out, uh, or Sex and Allah, is going to be out in Amazon, and you guys, you will see things you never heard before. I hope the Muslims will listen carefully, and they will stop being arrogant and being stupid. There's no way such a man can be a prophet. From their fruits, you shall know them. And a prophet who his wife proved to him by his leg, by her legs and by her boobs that he is, he is a prophet of God, seeing an angel. That is a mad man who is suffering from mental issue. I hope tomorrow we will be uh, on air again around 4.30. So be with us. And I hope we did answer this lady about what she said that the prophet, the prophet of Islam, he have the power of healing. Seriously, I feel like I am healed. Yeah, right. What a funny religion. What a stupid cult. Thank you guys for watching. May the Lord bless you, all of you. And until I see you tomorrow, Christ is Lord and Islam is false. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.